up beautiful people so i'm here to speak about water fast yes drinking water and eating absolutely nothing not even a morsel of food i've done it for 10 days so why did i do that i don't know i just wanted to do i just want to see how people can go like for days and days without eating food just by drinking water so I started it all of a sudden on May 26th out of nowhere I just wanted to do it for three days but then I was like let's keep going until when I want to stop but I don't know I, I had no certain plan or nothing to do so I was like yeah so day one um to, to be very honest day one was cakewalk day two oh my god it was it was not that hard but i was feeling bored <laughs> the good thing about the fast is i've learned we eat out of boredom not out of hunger and day three was pretty much the same and day four i started to feel my inner peace you know uh they say right you feel the inner peace when you're doing your uh, water fasting i no longer needed food day four five six i no longer needed food but day five and six, there was this weird headache. Like, it was so weird. Like, uh, it's kind of like cluster headaches, but uh, it used to happen when I was going to sleep and about to wake up. Like, I used to wake up with a lot of pain. And day seven was normal. It's like, I can keep it going, going, going. Day eight and nine, all of a sudden, I could feel this horrible pain in my left arm and a little bit in my lower body uh, through the knees and all so uh, maybe that's because of the, uh, like because 10 days and there was no proper nutrition to my body because I was drinking just plain water out of Brita filter yeah so it was good the 10 day journey was good I wanted to I, I actually thought I can keep it up like I can keep up till 21 days but 10th day I had to give up um, I broke my fast with a mango which was growing on this garden so I just plucked the mango in and ate it uh, when it comes to pros and cons the pros of doing water fasting is you feel good you lose a bunch of weight like I lost like 12 kgs or 24 25 pounds yeah from 238 i came to 219 no 220 no 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 yeah something around that like i i don't go with the metrics and all yeah um and you in general you feel good you feel healthy you you can see your body detoxifying because of the like it's like your body is like a machinery and occasionally you have to stop it for oil changes and detoxifying your body uh, happens when you give rest to your body like I gave my body 10 days rest there was absolutely nothing except water so it was like an oil change for my machinery so I feel good yeah and pretty much those are the pros uh, I've seen so many videos about water fasting and people talk about mental clarity and all of that. Maybe if, I've, if I could have gone for 21 or 40 days, I could see the light, but I couldn't do that. And I might do that in the future, but when it comes to cons, yeah, water fasting is not for everyone. Maybe this one time I had, I was curious and... Uh, I wanted to do what I want to do, so I did it, but this is not for everyone. People uh, might seriously be harmed because of this. Not everyone. Like, people can go for, uh, like, for longer fast. I've seen people going for 40 days, 120 days, and there is a documentary which I've uh, been watching, and people went for more than a year. A 550 pounds man lost all his weight, and he was uh, doing his fast for, like, 238 days or something 328 days yeah something so overall what I say is cons are like um, 
I, uh, I pretty much forgot every day when I woke up, I forgot that, yes, I was, uh, like, uh, I forgot I was doing water fasting, I could, like, I would just wake up all of a sudden and see my body suffering to wake up, like, it's like your physical body wakes up and your mental body comes and follows it, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but that's pretty much how it is, like, you can feel your blood pumping towards your brain, like, when you stand up. Mm, and you feel lethargic a lot of lethargy and headaches headaches are real and the body pain hmm and on the 10th day i was pretty much like i just wanted to i didn't want to give up but i just wanted like i could have kept on going but i don't regret doing that because 10 days is not a small time but yeah i could have gone for a longer period but on the 10th day I just gave up like I was like yeah I'm done with this my my curiosity quest ends so that's pretty much how it is so yep from day one day one it was a cakewalk day two and three I understood we eat out of like uh, we eat just because we are bored not because we want food I mean we want food but uh, we cook we pay a lot of importance to food just because we are bored that's that's pretty much how my view changed but i gained a lot of respect towards food because the first bite i took off uh, took out of that mango so freaking sweet i was like i felt i felt like i poured like two tablespoons of sugar into my mouth straight it was so sweet maybe the mango was sweet or my taste buds got digested i don't know but it was good and there's another thing no one speaks about your body order just disappears <laughs> i don't know how that is possible your body order just disappears not that i used to smell before but the minimal smell which you uh, like which any human has <laughs> that disappears like it goes from zero to minus one that's how it is um yeah I think any one of us can do a one day fast. I don't recommend this fast. I in no means recommend this fast. I am a med student myself. I'm no doctor yet. About to be one. Still, I don't recommend any kind of fasting. Yeah, you might do one day fasting which is good for your body and digestive system to like take a break and chill and get back uh, like get back to the normal on the next day and all. But I don't recommend uh, prolonged fastings, but if you are like, if you're a healthy individual, you can keep going for three days. But after 72 hours, remember that your digestive system, like it minimizes its uh, process. So when you are introducing the food, you have to go slow. I might, I might do a video about the refeed process and uh, what actually happen towards everything this this video is just to summarize that how my water fasting has gone so i might throw up a, a change a transformation photo it's not pretty like it's not like the typical tram, uh, transformation photos you see but yeah i lost a bunch of weight so i'm gonna put it in the end of the video thanks for watching guys please subscribe like share and comment and let me know if I have to make more challenges or um, any kind of videos like this. So please support, uh, please keep supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. This is my first vlog and.